Um, where do you think your community members, uh, community members of Fort William First Nation, would prefer to die? I think it's individual. Some would like to die at home. In this ad hoc focus group, some members of Fort William First Nation are discussing issues related to dealing with individuals who are approaching the end of their lives. It's part of an ongoing project that explores the unique needs of First Nations communities when it comes to end of life or palliative care. Project manager Holly Prince says there's a growing need to develop customized palliative care options for First Nations people. What's happening in First Nation communities is an increasing rate of people um, aging and with that aging there's also a higher incidence of chronic disease. So in the First Nation communities, because there's a lot of barriers to care, uh, First Nation people are having to leave their communities to receive care in urban centers or long-term care homes outside of their communities. And the communities really want to develop their own capacity to care for their own people in their own communities. Prince and project co-principal investigator Mary Lou Kelly are based out of Lakehead University's Center for Education and Research on Aging and Health. They work with a large team that includes Dr. Kevin Brazil from McMaster University and researchers from across Ontario and Manitoba. But Kelly says the emphasis is on the partnerships they've created with First Nations communities. And the data that's collected is driven largely by community members through participatory action research. In this kind of research, participatory means that there aren't subjects of our research, they're the participants, they're working with us, they're part of our team. And the action part is that we're actually not learning for the sake of learning. We're trying to solve an issue that the community has identified as something that they want to change. So we're trying to do something different, we're trying to make something happen. The goal of this research is to develop palliative care programs that are sensitive to cultural and community needs <laughs> and can be delivered on a local level. Karen Bannon is the manager for the Fort William First Nation Health Centre and is one of the partners on the project. She says it's important to find ways to keep palliative care patients in familiar surroundings, close to friends and family, instead of moving them to acute care facilities in larger centres. When you come to the end, you always want your family around, so in order to have that happen, we have to have a model of care that's going to to embrace that and I think that's what we're hoping that comes out from the research, the data, all of the everything that goes on through throughout the project. One thing I often say is that that dying is actually not a medical event, it's a social event. Um, it's a social event that happens in the family, it happens in the community and it's really important for not only the quality of life of the person that's dying, but for the community and for the family to be able to participate in that event, to uh, have the kind of conversations that they want for closure, and to be able to contribute to making meaning uh, for one another and, and for that, that person's life. For Fort William First Nation Community Health Representative Lou Ann Mackey, it's important to develop options when it comes to caring for those who are dying. I just think it would be fair to be able to give our people the choice of whether they want to stay in home and die with family close to them in a setting that they're used to, or the option if they really want to, to, to move into hospice care. Prince agrees and hopes that through this research project, they'll find ways to help those undergoing palliative care die with dignity. Um, in the end, it's all about respecting that person's end of life care wishes and doing it in a culturally safe way, whether it's from a healthcare provider perspective from within the community or outside the community. For Lakehead University's Research and Innovation Week, I'm Ray Brickwood. I think we've had quite a mixture of